Hi everybody, here's uh, another video using the Pika Scope uh, 2000, the non automotive automotive scope. This is the cheapest one you can buy for Pico. And what I was want to show you in this test is we're we're going to check the cranking of the car using voltage drop. So you can see that channel one, this is a blue channel, hits on 20 volts and hits DC, and channel B it's the, the red trace and hits on one volt scale but hits on AC. So that's just two channels. Well, there is only two channels on this wee scope. So what I've done here, you could either go to the battery under the car and connect your leads or I've got this wee DLC breakout box. So you can see on pin, it's a bit messy here. Pin four is chassis ground, that's your normal ground. And pin 16, that's your that's battery power. So we're just, this is exactly the same as if you connected to the car battery. So I've disabled the fuel in this car. It's a diesel, but it doesn't make any difference. It'd be exactly the same in a petrol. And we're going to watch the trace going across the scope and see what we can find. Now actually, to tell you the truth, it looks better. You get better resolution when you're on the AC scale than you do in the DC. So I'll hit the space bar for it to run and I'll crank the car over. There we go, ignition on. Oh dear, I don't know why it does that. Quite strange, really. Eh? We'll crank the car over. There you go. So we'll hit the space bar. And that's the stop there. We're going to focus in. First of all, I'll go to the normal DC bit here in this scale. So you can see. There you go, just take a portion. So you can see it's every time the voltage drops. So wait, I'll go back to this cursor here. So you can see. When we click it, we'll get the voltage. So we're down at 9.4 volts. And you can go down to 9.5. So you can see it's roughly about the same. So this car, when the the piston's getting pushed up, the battery voltage is dropping. But the, the secret to this is they're all even. So this is a good engine. If, say there was one bad cylinder, that would just be flatlined right across or Even, it would actually go up a little bit. But this, is a, this car's good, so... The automotive one obviously has got better resolution, but uh, I'm sure it does the job. So we'll then look at the AC waveform. We'll go back and click this up here. And we'll look at the... the so this is exactly the same event. So we'll take... The, so you can see that's actually better. So every time the, the piston goes up, it goes to here. So that's, that's it squeezing and the voltage is dropping. So you can see along there, these are all nice and even and if it was one bad cylinder you wouldn't see that, it would be up the way you wouldn't have consecutive nice even signals so I'm sure you agree, the AC looks even better than DC and uh, it's certainly 20 volt is the first one and the AC, I found that it's better on the 1 volt scale, you can drop it to 500 millivolts but uh, I think that looks pretty good so there's another test for it if anybody uh, is interested. So thanks for watching. Cheers.